brother. I'm Dr. Samina Hassan. I've done master's in health administration from Tata Institute of Social Sciences. You just talked about domestic violence. I have worked with the pilot project of municipal corporation on domestic violence. In that, more involvement of police and lawyer was there. And I felt we ended up creating more problem for the women instead of solving it. Can you please guideline me? Actually, this problem is in the U.S. as well. Sometimes people out of the goodness of their heart, laws are created, organizations are built with the intent of helping the women who are in this situation. And before I go on to that topic, brothers and sisters, please remember this. It is not befitting to a man to be hitting a woman, especially if that woman happens to be your wife, especially if that woman happens to be your mother or she happens to be your sister or she happens to be your daughter. It is not befitting, especially in the deen of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, that came to uplift women to take them out of the oppression that they were living, we cannot, in the name of Islam, in the name of Allah, in the name of the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, oppress and hit our sisters. That is not acceptable. If you are engaged as a man in such practice, we ask you on behalf of our sister whom you are torturing, on behalf of all the sisters to please cease, stop doing this, repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and definitely correct such a way and rectify what you have done. And we must also say that within our own Muslim community, we must create a safe haven for the sisters who go through this. Where does she go? Many times if she gets divorced, she will be ostracized by the community. And if a woman is divorced, she will be dehumanized and demonized by the community. So she is either in the hell with her husband or she will be in the, again in a bigger problem with the community if she chooses to get a divorce. Let us not put our sisters in these situations. These are not good situations for them to be in. Um, unfortunately, this takes time. We have a law in the U.S., for example. If a man hits a woman and the woman calls the police, the police comes over, the man does not have proper papers in the U.S., he will be deported. So the woman was hit, and she was going through physical pain. When she called the police, she was calling for somebody to help her. But now that her husband is being deported, that is creating more problems for her. So what do you do? It has happened so many times. And nowadays, it's also becoming a crime where if a man who is holding a green card, which means that you have permanent residency in the U.S., if you hit your wife and then a report is being made, you may also be deported as a result. So you look into this, what happens is that women are no longer calling the police. But they are being more harmed by their husbands at this point. So if you call the police, you are in trouble. If you don't call the police, you are still in trouble. So what do you do? And that's where we have to appeal to our community. Please do not put our sisters in these situations. Don't. To begin with, instead of us having to fight what happens next, let us eliminate the problem to begin with. And for this, you know, we say that, Counseling is very important. I'm not sure how widespread the concept of counseling is in India. But these are all issues where we would use and seek more preventative measures rather than having to deal with the problem after that. Allah knows best. Allahu alam.